Welcome to another SafeJS app podcast and this time around we want to take a look at a native KDE Connect client for SafeJS called Sailfish Connect. And if you don't know what KDE Connect is, KDE Connect is basically a nice application to connect your smartphone with your laptop running Plasma desktop in this case or any other Linux or BSD system that is able to run KDE Connect. So it's a very nice client software that you can install on your smartphone and on your um, desktop or laptop PC and then you can share data. Uh, you can find the native SafeJS client called Sailfish Connect under the open repos, for example here in uh, the, uh, how is it called, Stallman uh, application where you can just simply download it. But be aware it's an early experimental version, so it might have some broken features still. But it's working pretty nice for me for some basic options and I want to show you those basic options because they might become very handy for a few of you. So let's go and dig right into the application itself. This is how the application looks like. Usually uh, under pad devices you won't see any device but you will see some nearby devices if you have some Plasma desktop running somewhere and you can that, then just click on the nearby device and then pair the device up. You have to accept it on the phone and accept it on the laptop itself or the desktop PC itself and then you have them connected just like me here and then you have some options just like when I click on this you will see that I have now a Firefox web browser open and of course I have the Plasma browser integration installed on my um, laptop. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what's running on my laptop here a little bit. There's a YouTube video running and uh, what I can do now let me just try to make this a little bit sharper. There we go. What, do you, what I can do now is just hit play here and the YouTube video here on my desktop will start playing. So I can use it as a remote control for example if I'm lying in bed or something like this. I uh, have my uh, desktop or my, my laptop attached to a big screen and I want to control the media playback of my YouTube videos or something like this I can do so from within my phone which is a pretty nice option and of course I have some other options if I'm going to the menu I can send a ping if I send a ping here from my phone you can see that there will be a pop-up that the Sony Xperia X ping to the desktop and of course I can do this the other way around you can also send a ping from here uh, but I also have the option to see for example the usage of my battery on the Xperia. So if I have it lying somewhere around and I want to see if I have to charge it up before I go out or something like this, I can uh, take a look. I don't have to search the device itself. I can take a look at my uh, desktop and I can see 74%. So I think it's enough. Of course, I have some other options here for, for setting up KD Connect on the desktop itself, just like other plugins. And those are basically the plugins that I also have available on the phone itself. So let's go into the phone application and take a look at the plugins. And you can see we have the option to send SMS, allow sending of text messages, and share the clipboard, which is a pretty nice feature. So if I, for example, want to watch this video on my uh, device, I can just simply copy uh, on my desktop or my PC I can just simply copy um, the URL then go into my favorite video playing application that is able to play YouTube videos and then I can just simply paste the URL right in here. This URL is coming from the desktop PC or laptop and I can then just simply watch the video here on my mobile device as you can see here. So this is possible of course. Then there is the ping option as you saw before, the battery report option and the multimedia controls that I also showed you. So there are pretty nice features uh, that allow you to do several things and I think this Safe Connect is a very nice um, option, especially useful if in later versions maybe if you get a notification here it will pop up on your desktop PC as well. If you get a call here you can answer it on the desktop PC that would be uh, pretty nice um, in future versions. It's still an early version 
as you can see here in the about window it's version 0.1 of the KD Connect client for Selfish S. It's still a nice version and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of this um, Selfish Connect KD Connect client and if you like this uh, hit the star icon here and uh, give it a thumbs up, give it a comment if you have problems or something like this and of course support the application itself. This is everything for this uh, little demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.